Let's be honest, none of these rappers are on my level flow Kissed by an angel, but it's hotter than the devil dough People say I'm extra, but don't forget terrestrial The label tried to blackball me, now they on my Tesla I got kids watching, couldn't finish that sentence These other rappers are old news, we tell them good riddance What's up guys, this is Old Ninja wearing Aviators and a Super Hot And welcome to part two of our combination tutorial So if you wanted to learn the combination that you saw me do in the beginning of the video, this is the place to be. However, you should definitely go check out part one first. It's so that you can get the striking down before we get into the trick. And you know, subscribe and like the video while you're here. But let's get into it. Now this trick consists of three main moves and is relatively challenging. So uh, if this is your first time trying a sword trick or something like that, I suggest trying instead of using a tricking sword like you see me using, links down below, use something like an Escrima stick or Kali stick or something that doesn't have a blade to it. Now, we last ended off stepping out with our right leg striking down. So the first thing you're gonna do is a really basic trick. I've taught it many times on this account before because it is one of the three basic sword tosses. It's gonna be what I call a forwards toss. Pointing the sword, pointing, throwing the tip of the sword up and the handle forward, which is why I call it a forwards toss. So the handle goes forward. You're gonna lift, push, and it will rotate as you catch it, palm down. Now, for this catch specifically, it's not just a solid catch. You're actually going to bump it back in the opposite direction for uh, kind of like a reverse, <laughs> like you put the video on reverse kind of illusion. So as the sword flips on you, you're gonna take the palm of your hand and pop it up so that it spins back and you can catch it palm out. Now, one thing to note is that when I do this trick straight on, you'll notice the sword slightly shifts so that it doesn't hit me, right? The sword spins next to me instead of directly on. And that allows you a little bit more safety and will kind of help your mental state as you are spinning the blade around you. Also, making sure to hit with the palm of your hand instead of your fingers will allow you to not hurt yourself. Hitting with your fingers, depending on what your grip is made of, can kind of hurt, like hitting a baseball with a metal bat. It kind of feels kind of uh, weird. And so you can avoid that by using the palm of your hand instead of your fingers. However, once we are here, you're going to spin your blade down, around, and here. So again, one more time. We just caught our sword with our reverse catch, but we pop back up. It's gonna spin down, all around as we spin, and circle before we hit the ground. Now, the goal is to have our back facing the audience, or in my case, the camera. So if you can't hear me, I'm, I'm gonna really boost the audio so you guys can hear me a little better, but that's just how this trick works. Next, we have the behind the head catch. Now, the behind the head catch is Bit quite scary sometimes if you don't know what you're doing but I'm gonna try and break it down as easy as I can so that it's as least scary as possible so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this opposite hand you're gonna put it behind your head just like so palm facing the sky you want your palm to face as much towards the sky as you can not down not in necessarily just up now once you have that you're gonna take your sword and you're just going to place the handle in your hand Place the handle in your hand and notice where my blade goes. My blade goes behind my back, not in front, behind the back. Placing the handle in the hand, behind the back. Placing the handle just in the hand. Get used to this, get used to this because once you're used to this motion, once you're used to this motion, you are going to actually let go and catch. Let go and catch. Now, the thing that most people do when incorrectly when they're learning this is they actually toss it and it draws a rainbow arc, just like this. It's not as much of a toss. You're not really throwing it as much as you are spinning your katana. Your katana doesn't actually change directions. Like if, it, if I start it upside down, it goes from here to here. It's not very far that it travels. It doesn't really travel all that much distance. However, what it does do is rotate in a 
full circle or at least a half circle, right? So when you rotate, you wanna focus on the flick of the wrist, just like that first trick we did, so that when you catch it, whoop, bang, it can land in your hand every time. And from the side, bang, just like that. And then all you have to do is add in the flare, add in that little pop with the back fist. All that is, is once you're down, it's going to pop up, catch, and as soon as you let go, your right hand, or the hand that used to have the sword, is going to back this out and pull in. Personally, I think pulling it back in and holding looks better, but you can also reach and hold if that's what you want to. It's all up to style at that point. But all together, it will look like bang. Or bang. To give it that much more oomph, I take my stance and pull my legs together just to give it that much more exaggeration in the move. So it comes down, bang. And with a little bit of practice, you guys can do this combination too. Again, make sure if you're gonna use a sword, use a tricking sword, these are dull. So if you catch the blade or hit yourself, it won't feel great, but it won't really hurt you all that bad. Nick, link down below as always with the code NINJA10 to get you 10% off at checkout. If there are any questions you have regarding this trick, make sure to leave them down in the comments. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this one, definitely uh, you know subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out when the next one comes. And I believe I have a Capoeira tutorial coming soon as well. I don't do it. I have a friend that's gonna help me out. I'm super excited. It's gonna be a whole event uh next month so if that interests you or next month in february i guess i'm recording this in january but the time by the time this releases it might be february who, who, who knows honestly um so if any of that interests you make sure to check out the links down below and stay subscribed and you know all the youtube stuff but i've rambled for enough my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out guys